it going, everybody? My name is Xenius, and welcome back to another episode of Tibia Me. All right, we're still in the jail, so let's go ahead and get on out. Hello, my name is Wang, owner of this cell. <laughs> you must be Xenius, the one who helped the young Taro. Are you aware that he belongs to the rebellion against the Emperor? The rebellion? Emperor Pai Yu II. Once a very noble and beloved ruler, he was the one who has reformed and defined the agricultural and economy of Yaba II, and so Munjung and its provinces flourished rapidly. The city was growing day by day, and the people of Yaba II lived in prosperity. Well, what happened then? <clears throat> Suddenly everything changed. The emperor transformed into a tyrant and began to exploit the country. He destroyed everything he built up the past uh, the past years. Uh, taxes and rice contributions were raised to astronomical highs. The people almost got nothing left for a living, and so the despair began. <clears throat> Nobody really knows what happened. The Emperor hasn't shown up in public since these past times. Uh, every uh, every knot against the Emperor has been broken with force of arms. Nowadays, uh, whispering the wrong name will sometimes land you in jail. It is, but let me tell you a secret. I'm a member of the Rebellion myself. Our highest goal is to end this suppression by killing the Emperor. This is the only way to bring back peace to Yaba II. Are you willing to help us? Sure, yeah. You are right. We are stuck in this cell, uh, but there is a way out. Have you noticed the draining uh, hopper on the wall? The grate is loosed. Pry it off and make your way through the sewers. It will lead you to the underground city where Yao is waiting. Take this letter and bring it to him. It is an important. It has an important message, which is to reach the rebellion. I would go myself, but I'm too old for this. Please, I'm counting on you. <clears throat> so. Obviously, what you do is you take the grate uh, into the underground city, and then you follow the sewer uh, out uh, into the free world. So, uh, this is uh, the, uh, obviously you're facing blood flies in this area as well. Uh, so, the set that you have, the fire rod and your uh, electrical defense and, and stuff like that, that will serve you well here. There's no need to worry about needing other types of defense or offensive sets, so don't worry about that at all. Um, this is another area that I would recommend going slowly through. Uh, I, I had some difficulty uh, uh, figuring out where to go, and so I had to face some opponents uh, that I didn't really need to, and then in the same realm, obviously there are two blood flies right there, so I would just be very careful on rushing into things. Make sure you have plenty of mana and plenty of health in order to to take on multiple opponents at once. I don't want you being overwhelmed in this area. Um, I don't know exactly what happens if you die, if I'm being honest, because uh, just like in Aria and Ashmore, if you die and you go uh, to another location, you respawn in a safe location near those cities. It's the it's most likely the same way here. You respawn near an area of Yama 2, but I don't know where, and I wouldn't know how you get back to here, uh, if at all. If you die and have to come back, I wouldn't be surprised if you just go straight to Yaro, because he's right outside Minjung, the, the main city of Yama 2. So um, I, I'm pretty sure uh, it would just be a shortcut. But of course, you would be losing experience. So why would you ever want to do that in the first place? So I don't, I don't know exactly what would happen if you did die. But yeah. Anyway, uh, the the note I'm gonna let you guys in on a little, a little secret right now. The note is basically just a test for you guys. So what you have to do is you just have to to deliver it from Yao. Uh, to Yao, and one of the things that he says is it was a test, and basically, um, it's just to make sure that you didn't read it or something along those lines. So, um, I, I, and I, of course, I didn't read it. I don't. I, it wasn't even an instinct of mine. I didn't know what was supposed to happen to it. I don't even know what it says exactly. It's just I know when I gave it to Yao, he said that it was good that I didn't read it. So. Uh, if you want to try and read it, you can go ahead and do that. I don't know if they'll know that you re read it or something like that, or if they'll ruin the quest for you. Um, I, to be safe, I would not read it, but that is completely up to you guys and what you guys want to do. Uh, I, again, this is a very 
straightforward game, so I don't know if there's anything that would screw you up uh, in the main quest, or if there's anything that would derail you from being able to complete a quest like that. Um, I, and if it did, because this is one string of quests. Once you complete one, you go to the same person, or you go to a different person that's recommended from that guy, so I don't know if, uh, like, if you said, um, oh, I, I, uh, or, or you did something wrong and it messed up your quest. I don't know if it would it would uh, upset that string of quests or, or even what it would do um, because you're supposed to not read this and you're supposed to do certain things along the way and just things like that. So I don't know what the end result would be if you ended up not doing something exactly by the book as you were supposed to. Because obviously I don't know not to read the, read the parchment. You guys know that now, but I don't know that at, at this moment when I'm playing. So if I did, would that have ruined the quest? Would I have completely upset the balance or, or something like that? I, I Again, I don't, I don't really know what is um, going to happen if I do that. So if you guys want to test that out, feel free. I'm not going to stop you, but uh, at the same time, I can't really recommend you do that, uh, just to be safe, because I'm looking out for you guys. I'm looking out for you guys. So the next part of the quest is what I was talking about in the last episode about the Restless. Uh, here's Yato. Uh, why are you staring at me? Are you looking for trouble? Wang sends me. Uh, speak quietly. If they hear us, we will get caught. So Wang sends you with this important letter for the rebellion? Ha <laughs> ha! That's just what I'd expect from the old prankster. This shred of paper is only an old shopping list. Delivering the letter unread was only a test of your loyalty, but I'm not so credulous. You, you'll have to earn my confidence, and everything you have earned is the submission card. You can move freely between the Undercity and Harbor with it. Now back to your loyalty. Are you ready to prove it? Absolutely, yes. Let's do this. Fine, the Emperor still has powerful proponents. It's not only him who is exploiting the country uh, and his underclass. These methods were always always used by the nobles to increase their wealth, too. A lot of peasants met their death because of the greed of the nobles. Now the ghost of peasants are haunting the nobles in their own district. To pacify the nobles, the Emperor set up ghost detectors. Uh, these magical spheres are scanning the area and reacting to anything suspicious. It will alarm the special troops of the Emperor, the Busters. These samurais are highly trained to fight against ghosts, so be aware of them. Your first task is to sneak into the Noble District up north and use the Disable Club to disable six ghost detectors. Take this fake admission card and the guards will let you pass. So I had to go back down to get a soul rune, but basically... Uh, you come from Yabatu Harbor and you go up straight north and you go past all of the town guards and then you're automatically in the Noble District. So, uh, this is the area that I had the most trouble with uh, throughout the entire game. Um, well, I, I would say the Sabercats when I'm doing Where's King Mort would gave me a little bit more trouble than this. But, the biggest problem that I had were these Restless. Um, I, I can't stress enough that they have high health uh, and they have fairly high damage as well, so I would have to use at least two healing spells per uh, um, encounter with them. Uh, I didn't realize, but in this circle that's going around these ghost detectors, once it hits you, it will uh, spawn a, uh, a, a buster, which is one of the samurai, one of the, um, the special troops of the noble district. So. Be aware of that. Make sure not to step uh, in those circles whenever they pass through you. Otherwise, you will have to face a buster for uh, no reason whatsoever. So, Restless, obviously, they take soul damage. There's no other way to attack them. Cold damage is what they do. So, uh, make sure that that's the defense and offensive set that you have. I don't know what the buster, uh, what damage they do, and what... Um, attack they do. I, I, I could actually look that up right now. Hold on one second. I'm assuming you can see all of this. Um, anyway, I, I just logged onto the game and they're, there's, they're literally not listed. The buster, it's not there at all. Um, so I can't, I can't really recommend what defense set or offense set uh, to use for these guys. Uh, simply because, uh, I, again, they're, they're not here. Uh, I couldn't find anything online uh, either, so uh, 
yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a mystery to me. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I would just recommend going in with fire, um, fire or electricity. Uh, I think are the two things that I would recommend. I'm pretty sure the tip guards, uh, the other different types of uh, special troops or the samurais or things like that, I believe they do are they are weak to electric, but that's just speculation. I can't I can't say for certain. Uh, so don't quote me on anything. I would look up Timmy and me Hexit before you rush into any of these situations. So anyway, yes, uh, what you're doing in this area is you're going around and you're using the club on all of these ghost detector things, which is super, super simple. Um, well, I say it, it's simple to do that act, but the whole act of getting there is the problem for me um, because I'm, I'm using so much mana and I'm using so much uh, health that it's hard to advance quickly in this area. I'm pretty sure I'll have an easier time of it um, whenever I get a better soul uh, weapon and uh, also in the next area when I uh, when I just logged on a minute ago uh, I, one of the temp guards came up to me and started attacking me in that little area uh, and I, I it was not hard to end him at all uh, I used a spell and my skill and he barely did any damage to me whatsoever so I, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident on the next part of the quest it's it's just the ghost it's just the restless um, there are a lot of different uh, oh no I'm sorry these are called peasants that's my bad that's my bad um, but later on in the game we will have to deal with excuse me restless and wristless and rustless and rustless and whatever different types of ghosts around so I'm I'm a little bit uh, nervous for that I don't know if they're difficult to uh, take on like the peasants are but uh, it's definitely something that I'm going to be apprehensive about so um, again, World 15, if you need help at all, please let me know. Um, this is, I, I'm struggling through this, and I'm level 30 right now, so if you're anywhere in the 20s or anything like that, obviously I, I have a feeling you're going to be struggling through this uh, and might need help. So uh, please let me know if you need any assistance. I have no problem whatsoever logging on and just going through this quest with you. Um, this area is accessible for anyone, so if you Again, if you need help, I, I, that's what I'm here for. So, uh, again, I, I'm uh, conf not confused. I'm uh, curious to see how this main story quest pans out because of how long it is. Um, at the end, and uh, you'll see at the end of this episode, uh, you'll notice that the next quest went ahead and started. Uh, when I finished the quest, I of course went back to Yao and, and gave him the update and all that jazz, and then he immediately gave me my next quest. So I'm interested to see how that works out, because it seems like I'm not going to be able to uh, connect these episodes as well as I would like to, because it's literally, uh, oh, you're done, next thing. Oh, you're done, next thing. And it's not really a, a time for a break. There's not really a time to kind of, oh, well, that's obviously a good end for the episode. It's it's literally like, oh, well, we have something else to complete now. So I feel like uh, while I'm playing this, I'm like, oh, well, I have to continue on. I have to continue playing just because that's what the game expects me to do on Yava 2. So um, Yava 2 feels a little bit disjointed. Uh, when it comes to quest, uh, just because a lot of what you do is going back to the same person. Yao, I think, has an, a few quests for me coming up. Uh, so I'm... Uh, I, I'm not nervous about it. I'm just I'm curious to see uh, how, <laughs> how these next few episodes play out. Like, to see if uh, they um, are easy for me to do or easy for me to connect or anything like that. That. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say now that I think about it. I'm, uh, I, I'm probably going to head out here for a bit and just let the, uh, actually the episode is almost over. <laughs> now that I think about it, um, because I think this one right here, this uh, ghost detector up here to the right is the last one. I, I forget how short but also at the same time how long it is it, it doesn't take long at all if there were no enemies in this area it would take 
very little time at all, but because the uh, peasants are so difficult to get through, it's, it's so hard to uh, be able to finish easily and quickly. So, anyway, here is Yao right now. Uh, ha ha! The nobles won't sleep well this night. Nice work. Surely you're fed up with ghosts and busters. I promise you, betwixt and between, you'll concern yourself on your next task. You won't bottle out, will you? That's the right not mindset. A big part of Yabatu's people are suffering under the Emperor, but not everyone is willing to grasp the nettle. We have to draw attention to our cause, therefore we have made a batch of propaganda flyers uh, that will inf inform the people, but you can't just walk around and hand them out. If you get nabbed by the Imperial Guards, they will kill you. You have to wait until nightfall and put up 15 flyers. Uh, the HQ has chosen some walls and crowded spots. You will recognize them by a special mark which glows in the dark. Take the flyers and enter the house if you want to sleep. Awesome. So I actually do that immediately. I go ahead and I go into the house to sleep and that immediately starts the quest. So uh, the next episode, obviously I will be putting up the 15 flyers. The, the temp guards are kind of patrolling around as you saw right before I ended the episode. Um, they're kind of looking around and obviously you will have to take them on. I will have updates in the next episode as to what defense and offense set uh, you will need for those guys because they are actually listed on Tibby Me Hexit. Um, I, I will do more research into the Busters to see what their weaknesses. Um, I'm pretty sure they would be just like any other monster that looks just like that. I think there's a there's a couple monsters that look exactly like the Busters. So I will look into that and I will let you know in the next episode what kind of damage they deal and what kind of damage they are weak to. So that will be an update next time around. Again, that was a very um, difficult quest for me as a level 30. So if you're in your level 20s and uh, even if you do have a pet that can help you, I, I highly recommend bringing someone in and I am available to do that. I don't want you guys dying uh, in the middle of this quest because even though you probably have life insurance with premium or platinum, whichever you have, I, I, I think you are at a very high risk uh, if you're a lower level uh, whenever you do this quest. So please let me know if you need help. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'm available. I, I check YouTube as much as I can uh, for any people who are looking for answers. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.